So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and the, t the test server is up for 9.20. Um, so I thought I'd have a quick look around it. So here we go. We just logged in. This is what we see. Uh, 9.20 will feature updates to several vehicle branches, new Chinese tank destroyers, and grand battles. The new battle type in random battle modes with 30 v 30 clashing on the Nebelberg map. Please note the new battle type is currently a work in progress and minor performance issues may appear with certain hardware configurations in the course of testing. The chances of participating in a grand battle during the common test will increase by the, for the purposes of data collection. You can earn bonds in battles, including grand battles, where all vehicles are tier 10. So, right, so tier 10 standard random battles, you can earn bonds now. Kind of makes you think, what's the point of the... Um, What's it mode? The other mode. Huh. Cause re reasons, obviously. Obviously reasons. So let's have a look at the tech trees. Where are we? This is the one we're interested in. Oh, oh that's Russian. What am I talking about? Know your flags, Dom. Here we go. There we have it. Chinese. Tank destroyers. You got the T twenty six G F T at tier three, which carries a thirty seven millimeter gun. Okay, you've then got this thing M three G F T, the Su seventy six G, which carries a 76 presumably that's what it's called yeah oh no actually 57 oh and a 76 okay then we've got the this thing 60g which looks like a fairly armored beastie but it's not 20 millimeters of armor wow <laughs> wow it's here five it's got a big ass gun no okay it's going be interesting. Then this thing. 131G at tier 6. Getting no armour. Is that a feature of these Chinese TDs? 85mm gun. Tier 7. T34 2G. Starts to get a bit of armour. 70mm of frontal armour. Then the one 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 G at tier eight. Now that has got a lot of armor. 180 millimeters of front armor. 122 millimeter gun. Let's have a look at that in preview mode. Does that look like a two six eight to me? Big slab of tank, isn't it? Wow. And then the tier nine. Let's look at that preview mode because it's pretty to see. Look at that thing. Wow. These do look like they're bruises, that's for sure. What's the armour on that thing? 200 at the front, but it's quite fairly flat. What's the gun on that thing? Yeah, let's look down here. 130mm. Yeah, that looks like a brute. Higher up they go, they look really, really mean. And this is the daddy. Actually, it doesn't look as mean. <laughs> Does not look as mean. 130 millimeters of frontal armor, though. That's pretty armored. What's the gun on that? It's saying 100. Oh, it's 150. Okay, so it's a derpa. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So there you go. Chinese tech tree. All look modified, all look sexy. That's very interesting. I'm quite pleased to see these arrive. It's about time. Now let's have a look at the Frenchies because the new look um, Foch is here. Here we go. Oh, I can bring up both, that's useful. So this is the new look Foch, tier, Foch B at tier 10. Features uh, a really effective auto-loading gun. 
there we go 120 millimeters six shells two seconds per show between each shell 38 for the whole clip 257 AP penetration which isn't fantastic actually for a tier 10 uh, 325 with um, APCR okay we see what you're doing wargaming we see what you're doing 400 average damage so a DPM what's the DPM 3100 DPM Jesus Wow mind you that's um that's not gonna do that much damage is it so that penetration on the standard round is pretty crappy but that's what you're getting so if you have researched and bought the current tier 10 Foch on the French TD line by the time this patch is implemented uh, you will get this tank free and the old um, tier 10 will remain in your garage as a premium tank and upgraded to the new side armor and all that kind of malarkey that they're getting on that so that's a pretty good incentive to grind it but if you like me and you've got stuck I'm here tier 7 there's no way I'm gonna to get to tier 10 by the time that comes in absolutely no way so what else have we got going on here there's all the changes to the British tanks didn't cover this in my last rambles but they've improved the turret armor on these t these tanks 152 on the tier 8 oops come on 152 on him too on the tier 9 198 turret armor on the action x That's interesting. And the other thing they've fiddled around with a lot, I believe, is the Challenger. Oops. Oh, maybe that's in the next super test. They're looking at bringing a 20 mil gun for this thing, rather than the 17 pounder, which would be a good thing in my mind. That Challenger is just so weak underpowered the gun just doesn't have enough alpha there'll be changes to the Conway as well I believe but again haven't done it yet on the tech tree on this iteration of the test server they may well update it later on I guess um, other things to look at uh, changes to the object 140 wasn't it they're looking to change the turret on this thing The turret at the moment, or well, current now, is 240. Wow. Can we have a look at the other one? Let's have a look. Oops. Yep, it's the same turret now as the as the T62. 100, uh, 240. In fact, the Object 140 is better turret now on the side arm. 187 versus 161. But the turret traverse of the 62 is better 48 degrees per second as opposed to 40. so which tank did i research yeah i did the 62a should have done the object 140 it's clearly a better tank now that buff that makes a huge difference so anyway what else have they changed As they've uh, nerfed the uh, type 4 and type 5 heavies not significantly, just a couple, a couple of weeks, weak patches on the front. Nothing changed, I don't think, on the rest of the Chinese line. Nothing on the Czech line. British uh, mediums, as I say, the fronts of the turrets have been improved. They are looking at buffing the uh, TDs. Well, Challenger, the Conway and the FV. Don't think they've done anything. Oh, the bat chat. What have they done with the bat chat? Crikey, bat chat's now got three guns to research. Wow. Or maybe it did before. I've never worked my way down that line. Well, I'm again about. I'm at tier nine actually. I should probably should make an effort. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. What else have we got here? Anything different? No, that all looks the same. Again, I read or listened somewhere that they're 
thinking about bringing in another American light tank here alongside the T-71 so that you'll go from the T-21 to this new tank and then onto the 69 and then that way and then the other line will go straight through so the 37, 71, Bulldog, blah 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 there's also same suggestion that they're going to remove the, the Bulldog's autoloader completely I'll go down well and I'm not sure whether people use it I think since they nerfed it it's no nowhere near as good as it once was um, and that's it on here oh yeah let's have a look at the um, IS-7 because this thing they've imp apparently increased its speed So top speed is 59.6, which is pretty dang good. Power ratio of 17.4 is extremely good. Aim time 2.5 is actually not bad at all. Dispersion 0.38 is nothing special, but there never was. So made that tank a little bit more mobile by all accounts. So let's take out the new French Foch B tier 10 tank destroyer for a bit of a spin. So I've just equipped it with a standard crew that I had, actually my tier 7 crew, I've just given it a little boost of uh, experience which you'd expect it to have by the time you got to tier 10. Um, equipped it with, I'm not sure what to put on it, but I put vents, gun lane drive, binos, um, this gun's pretty accurate already, it's 120mm, 6 shell magazine, 2 seconds to reload a shell, uh, 38 seconds to reload the whole clip, AP is only 257, uh, penetration 325 with um, APCR and 65 with HE and 400 average damage, 0.34 dispersion is nothing special and 2.3 aim time is nothing special but with the Brothers and Arms crew and gun lane drive I can get my aim time down to 1.84 which is pretty damn good and dispersion of 0.3 which is also very good I'm also running coffee so that helps DPM of 3300 hmm, that should be pretty good um, armor it's actually got a reasonable amount of armor it's 180 millimeters of frontal plate and look out the uh, angling of that that's pretty good. I suspect this will bounce things all day long. 1,850 XP. Sorry, um, HE even. HE? HP. Come on, Don. Get your head around. I'm excited about playing this one. 1,000 horsepower engine, 17.69 power ratio, which is pretty good. And top speed of 50 is also very good. 34.5 degrees per second traverse time. Concealment. It's pretty, it's pretty sneaky as well. I haven't got, I've only got the uh, camo paint on it. I've got no camo net. I'm on two of my crew are full camo, and I'm getting 25% stationary. That's pretty good. And spotting way, way over the minimum, 516 with binos. So there we go. Let's take it out and see what it can do. This looks exciting. Right, let's see what we can get. So there's a random chance you get the 30 by 30 if you go into tier 10. So just El Haloof. Cool, how many people are out playing Death Stars? One, two, three, four, five on the enemy team. Wow. That's a fairly meaty team they've got. Three Type 5 Heavies, five Death Stars, Sheesh, a mouse. I'm going to load premium to begin with. I might try the HE next. thing. Oh, thanks Mr. Fosh drive across me. Let's 
look loaded. Gonna make a risky maneuver. Where's that other fosh going? a bit there. 2,000 damage just like that. Oh shit, here comes the uh here comes the bad boys. for artillery. Don't keep parking in front of me. Oh bounce the type five heavy. loaded <laughs> oh well, we weren't a light tank, couldn't really do much there. Oh well, so... God, the enemy team should have done so much better, all those heavies and uh, Type 5 heavies and uh, Death Stars should have done a lot better. So the pen on that gun is not fantastic, that's for sure. Not with premium, not with uh, standard rounds. Premium, not bad. Second glass, we got a sharpshooter, far for effect. Third of the team, 2,113 damage, one kill, 908 base XP. Fired five shots, hit with 12, penned with seven. Took, blocked 166, uh, 1,660. 
Took 11 shots, 6 of which Pen 5 didn't. Considering everyone's usually fine premium, that wasn't too bad. Lost 40,000 credits though. That's the uh, using coffee and croissants and a clip of APCR. That'll do that for you. 98, sorry, 908 XP. Not sure. Not sure, let's try again. Ah, so we got the 30 by 30 game. So there's a random chance, I believe, of getting a 30 by 30 game. So a random chance of 30 by 30s. I think I'm going to go and sit on that hill in the middle of there. load of skill round yeah. I'll see what the normal no we're gonna we're gonna try and just see what this the, the normal rounds are not good enough I can see that immediately for a tier 10 game this if I was fighting tier 8s I was fighting tier 8s or something that's fair enough against tier 10s you need the extra pen It's not awful. Not brilliant, but it's not awful. Gun depression is not fantastic, really. Right, we're loaded up. Whoa, got spotted there, I'm sure. There's a rock there, which is not handy. Steve just hit me. Push this object we get out of the way. Let's go for a reload. Full clip is needed. Over there, is he? No shot on him. Still got no shot on him. It's reasonably mobile for a big tank. Oh, they're all going to be dead by the time I get there. Bit of one sided matchup, this one.
out grills. Oh, bloody hell, look at them up there. Stunt wagon got me in the end. Where is he? Couldn't even see him. Good grief. I like the map. I like this map. This this new map. It's good. Look at those defensive positions at the back there. Wow though. I'm gonna need artillery to assault those. Hop over to so we're in the city here. City up the north. That's, uh, okay, where's he? Oh, digging people out of that hill at the back there is a bit problematic. Oh, imagine how much mayhem a tank attacking or defending that hill could have. Have a look. The Kronwagen. He can take a shot from the grill, even if the grill manages to hit. Wow, oh, look at these positions here. Oh, I could say he could take a hit and then he gets put on fire. <laughs> and he doesn't have a fire extinguisher, of course, because want to survive before the end of the game yeah not quite so interesting interesting map I like the map actually it's got something for everything it's rolling planes it's got um, nice it's got a bit of a city got some hills nice yeah I like this I like the map a lot So there we go, third class, we got Spotter, Fire for Effect, finished, where was that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tenth on the team, nothing special, three, 2,000 damage, 2 kills, 839 base XP, 9 shots hit with 7, penned with 6, took 6 hits, 4 of which penned, 2 didn't, so the armor's not as good as I thought it was going to be, mind you I was being hit in the side a fair bit. Got two and a half thousand assistants, much mainly spotting the grill and the artillery at the end there. Um, lost 40,000 credits still, firing APCR. And we got uh, 839 XP. Now I think, uh, did I just see that we also got some, yeah we did, we got some, we got some bonds. We got 11 bonds out of that game. Did we get bonds in the last one as well? Let's have a look. Yeah, 12 bonds on that one too. So you're getting bonds for paying tier 10s. So why would you do the ranked battles, huh? I feared this was going to be a real brute of a tank. It's, I think, it's an acquired taste. I'm not claiming to be an expert at this sort of auto-loading TD, but it's, it's not bad. I imagine in a, in a, when it's top tier, um, well, it's a tier 10, it's always top tier, but when it's against tier 8s and stuff, it'll be a different proposition. I think this will be evil. I guess similar tier tanks with only that penetration of 257 standard pen and a 400 damage. It's not outrageous, not outrageous. Anyway, that's my quick look at the uh, uh, test server. We'll have a look at some more later on. I'm going to look through the Chinese tanks next, and our Chinese TDs. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about the test server. I like the rank battle mode. I think well, not rank battle. Sorry, the 30 v 30. That was that was interesting. I like that map. Why does it have to be tier tens? Can't it be tier six upwards? That would be good. I'd I'd buy that for a dollar. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. So if you like this, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, please. And, and in the meantime, 
I will see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom signing out. Remember, it's just a game. Enjoy it. Try not to take it too seriously. See you again.